online. But the challenge is with 200 million blogs and 100 million websites, where are they and how do we find them? Uh, additionally, marketing investments are changing. Yeah, this is a study that's uh, a little outside of the pro professional services world. Uh, this research organization talked to marketing directors at a thousand companies across the U.S. and asked them, you know, in the year ahead, where are you going to be spending your bucks? And, and no surprise here, boxing green, online, 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 search, social, brand, and, uh, and the like. So that's where the, the smart money is moving. I checked uh, Monday's paper. Some of you may have seen this in the New York Times that Google search advertising has come roaring back up 27%. While McGlatchy Papers advertising revenues fell a bit more than 28% in the third quarter. This is, this is the future, and we're in it right now. So we need to get an understanding of what's happening. You'll find that we're not going to urge you to abandon print. That's not what this is about. Really what it's about is urging you to explore online advertising, online presence more than you have already. Uh, the, another interesting fact is that 20, uh, 2008 saw local search engines surpass print directories like the Yellow Pages. I don't know. Uh, I know that I don't use uh, Yellow or White Pages anymore. I'm, I'm always going online, even with a Yellow Page right beside me. But those of you in the legal market space will know Martindale, a, a directory that had the almost impossible 100% market share when folks were searching if they. Or did not have a referral to a lawyer and they, they searched Martindale in order to find a lawyer in a different jurisdiction. However, uh, as this reporter for the legal intelligence in Philadelphia, Philadelphia says, Martindale's value to law firms is in steep decline uh, and be interesting to see the survival of that uh, really. Yeah, we know they're shifting the model right now, but it's because that, of the reality of directories going away. Right, but a venerable publication having to, having to shift its model. So it's time to deal with the facts. Uh, one of the, another important fact here is about brand engagement having changed from monologue to dialogue. We can no longer control the brand from the top down as we, uh, well, we imagined that we used to. And in fact, because it was so much more difficult for word of mouth to pass uh, through, the, through the society, it was more difficult uh, to create a dialogue now that you've got you really do have dialogue as, as word of mouth becomes instant. Monologue has really shifted to dialogue, and people need to take a, pay attention to that and involve the buyers in their brand because they're already involved. Here's a great example from TripAdvisor with this, uh, these gals who are going to, uh, to the Philippines, the Manila, and it's the housekeeping lady from hell. Uh, when my girlfriends and I requested a not-so-expensive hotel, little did I know that my agent friend would book us here. Whoa. That's not what you want posted about your hotel uh, in uh, uh, Okinawa. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, same thing happened in the in, it's happening in the legal space. Here we are at Vault.com, where an associate has talked about uh, the rounds of interviews and the like that they had to go through at, at uh, Dewey Le and LaBeouf. So, what's going on is going to get out there, and with the rise of Twitter, and we'll look at some of those numbers as well we're seeing that that's a dramatic uh, rise in activity that has shifted that to monologue, almost from, monolo from dialogue to a complete babble of voices. This is something, uh, social media no longer just a playground for the young, that a lot of the uh, elder states men and women of law firms don't, uh, agree, get. don't yeah. get yet. But uh, if we look at Facebook users today, the perception is that Facebook belongs from 13 to 25-year-olds. But in fact, you've got a substantial portion of influencers and decision makers ages 26 to 34, and a rapidly growing segment of where your actual buyers are from 35 to 54 and 50, uh, 55 to 65, one of the fastest growing segments. Uh, it may not surprise folks that the biggest users of Facebook are women because uh, I know that I lean on my wife for a, a lot for relationships and Facebook is a relationship uh, tool but it's also a business tool we'll see as well. Um, Thirty-somethings surprisingly are responsible for the growth of Twitter not uh, twenty-somethings in fact teenagers already are saying that Twitter is just a fad 
So it's kind of interesting how that has dramatically grown, and we imagine that that's surely something that the, the uh, decade of the 20s uh, has delivered to us, but it's not it's a decade older than that. So in summary, to get found, what we really want to do is not abandon offline, but mix offline with online. Oh, and uh, one other thing, I think this is funny. NPR did a report on the Internet Addiction Center that opened in Seattle. I believe it's Seattle, yeah, uh, recently. And what we want to do today is to uh, have everybody have a reasonable response to all of, all of what's going on in the web, understand that the next big thing may just be that. And just because we can doesn't mean we should. So we'd like to give you a step-by-step -step approach or what you can do and what you need to do in order to give you comfort about the direction that, uh, that you're headed and the way to spend your money in a reasonable way. So the rational response to rapid change has to be based on this fundamental pre premise. Which is a website is not a web presence. Just as you know, those of you who are experienced this stuff know that an ad campaign is not a, a, a brand campaign or a logo isn't your, uh, your brand. So we're talking about um, you know, web presence here and, uh, and how to build it, okay? So here's the, here's the setup. We, we are uh, going to take you through six steps, six-step program, I believe. Uh, and and the, uh, the fundamentals of it uh, are, uh, for those of you who have worked with us before, you've probably seen this chart before, but at, at the foundational level, we're going to talk about developing a brand strategy, tacking back to our, our discussion at the very top of this about, you know, that problem still exists. It's just a different world that it exists in. We have uh, uh, comments about differentiating your website. And guess what? Most of our sites are not, uh, meaning most of the, uh, uh, the professional services world are still looking, feeling, and saying the same things. We want to master organic search. Uh, we want to talk about paid search and introduce you to some of the principles there. Um, we're going to talk about uh, analytics, how to use them, and more importantly, how to respond to them. Um, and you'll be surprised at, at what you learn here because uh, I know that almost every, certainly every one of you has heard about analytics and maybe have even reviewed analytics in detail, but the analytics rarely get to the leaders of the organization, nor do they know what to do with them when they're handed them. Yeah, and, and, and a comment on that, an important one is, you know, a, a lot of this stuff you'll know, uh, some of it's rudimentary, but again, we want to just lay out all the, all the facts in the terms and the like and, and then begin to sort and make some judgment and recommendations. So building on top of that is this notion of embracing social media and social networking. You'll notice that we didn't say master social media because we don't think it can be mastered yet. I think we're all just understanding it and embracing means giving it a try, being brave. Uh, and then lastly, most importantly, this, this uh, point will beat home. Um, throughout the presentation is that, that you've got to integrate branding efforts on and offline um, you know, to reach people. And some of the examples we'll show you are, are surprising. All right, so let's jump right in. By the way, Im importantly, so we're in the professional services world, what we always ca call the, you know, the, the content marketing or, or knowledge services world. And uh, thought leadership kind of drives its way through every single one of these uh, uh, important steps. And, uh, and, and that's a given, but it's a very important uh, point to, uh, to reference here as we've done graphically. So if you look at any of the big four uh, websites, and obviously McKinsey and others, you'll see that they are leading with thought leadership. They're leading with expertise because, by and large, people are looking for experts in all the service areas that we represent on this, uh, on this webinar. So 